Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to CBS 3 at 9, streaming live on CBS News Philadelphia. I'm Natasha Brown, and thank you so much for joining us. Developing right now, a Philadelphia school community outraged over a racially charged video. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Jasmine Payute is live outside of St. Hubert High School in Holmesburg this morning, where a protest just got underway. We see some of the signs there behind you and some of the folks behind you there right now, Jasmine. Natasha, good morning. As you mentioned, this protest started not too long ago. It's happening right outside St. Hubert's High School, which is an all-girls high school right here in Philadelphia. You can see some of the signs protesters brought with them. No more racism. Condemn and confront white supremacy. Where is your humanity? Now, the main message here is that hate has no home here. And joining me now is Adam McNeil. He is the organizer and a community activist. Now, Adam, tell me, what prompted you to spearhead this today? Um, I just thought when I saw the video that it was complete ignorance. Um, I watched it and I was completely confused that we still have so much blatant racism in 2023. Um, and then to know that the students not only made this video in mockery of black people on Black History Month, but they took the time to send it to their fellow students, which to me was the straw that broke the camel's back. We we have to stand together as a community to show that racism is not acceptable in any place, whether it's in school, whether it's in work, but to know that our children are displaying this racism only asks me, only has me question who are their parents? What do their parents teach them? What is the resolution going to be behind this tragedy? Speaking of resolution, what would you like to see done? Um, an apology is not enough. Immediate dismissal is not enough. We want them charged. This is a hate crime. This is ethnic intimidation. If the shoe was on the other foot, they would prosecute a black child to the fullest extent without thinking twice. We want them to know what accountability is and what accountability looks like and what trauma looks like when it is set upon somebody else that did nothing to you. There's many of young students that go to the school that are black and brown. How do you think that they feel every day now walking into school knowing that their classmates are racist. And if the school does not dismiss these students immediately, it just shows their lack of value for their own black students that they have here. And that is unacceptable. If, 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 they, if they say that they don't teach this behavior here, then there's no investigation that needs to be had. You did something that was uncouth, and we have to remove you immediately. It's like getting fired from a job. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. Now, this is the video Adam's referring to. We're going to bring it up on your screen now. We blurred the video because the people involved are teenagers. Now, in that video, it shows several girls with one spray painting the face of another with a dark color and yelling, Know your roots. It's February and you're nothing but a slave. The girl with the black face then declares, I'm black and I'm proud. Girls laughing can be heard throughout the video. Now, the Archdiocese of Philadelphia is trying to pinpoint who exactly is behind the video, but officials believe it shows St. Hubert's students and that students from the school posted it on social media. This issue has parents and current and former students concerned. Take action. The girls should not be in the school. The girls that's in the video should not be in school. The administration needs to step their game up and put some force into this system. This is messed up. This is messed up. It's, it's really devastating. It's a diverse school. I, I think, you know, they really are a great community of girls. And, you know, I, I don't think, um, you know, a couple young children's actions speak of what the school is. In a statement, the school's principal said in part, we view racism as a mortal sin. There is no place for it in our hearts and our minds, and there is no tolerance for such behavior at St. Hubert's. Now, the archdiocese also issued a statement in which they said they are investigating the matter and that the students would be disciplined in accordance with the handbook. But I want to take you another look or show you another look at some of these signs here and just some of the tensions that have been building here. People yelling from cars saying that the girls just want to go to school, other people voicing their frustration that this happened. This is a developing story, and we will continue to keep you updated. We're live in Holmesburg, CBS News, Philadelphia. Natasha, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Jasmine, thank you so much for that update. I'm sure you'll keep us posted throughout the day.